Hey guys, and welcome back to Cleaning Up History. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about a few uh, true stories that happened in, happened in Campbell County, Tennessee, of people who died by house fires. Um, and I do want to emphasize that this this video may contain um, graphic details, so if you're sensitive to this at all, uh, don't watch the video. My first story is about two men who were actually incarcerated in the Jellico Jail. Um, they were known as periodical drunkards, which somewhat puts me in the mind of Otis on the Andy Griffith show. They just they would get drunk and get locked up overnight in the jail. Their names were Grainville Neal, and he was 25, and John Sprouse, who was also 25. The jail that they were in at the time, it was it was attached to the side of a saloon, and um. It had a wood-burning stove in it, and the floors were made of pine. And um, it is thought that the cause of the fire was the wood-burning stove that one of the men had got up to stoke the fire and may have accidentally knocked some of the hot embers onto the pine floor. And by the time that it was noticed that the jail was on fire, it was too late. These men had already been completely burned. And... Um, They, um, they couldn't do anything about it. And this happened in the year of 1899 in Jellico, Tennessee. And the second story that I want to talk about is, um, it happened in 1907 in the home of John Teeler. John was away at work and, um, John's wife left the home, uh, and she was about 200 yards away from her home to, uh, go to the spring to get water, and inside the home was a five-year-old little boy and a two-year-old little girl. When she returned back to her house, um, it was in flames, and it, it this article states that she could hear her baby screaming for help, but, um, Everyone that tried, they couldn't. They were unable to save the children. They were found huddled together underneath a bed um, after the fire was extinguished. I can't find any burial place for these children either, so I'm not sure where they were buried at. And the, um, the last story that I want to talk about... It is regarding uh, Floyd Johnson and his family um, in the year 1933, I think it was. Um, it said that Floyd was, was seen out and about with a woman of bad reputation and that it, it was commonly thought that he just decided that he wanted a different wife than the one he had with his wife and three children at home. After doing some research, I did find that the Johnson family had a baby that died that same year. So maybe this caused some, some sort of um, a grief and, and problems within the household and um, led up to these events. But nonetheless, um, Floyd... was um his testimony was that when he noticed the house on fire he jumped out the window leaving behind his wife and children and then when he tried to go back in to save them he was not able to do so um the courts later found him guilty of killing setting the fire and ultimately killing his wife and and three children and um these the the wife and three children they are buried in the cemetery in Flat Hollow, and um, Floyd later on passed away and he is buried in uh, Meredith Cemetery on Stinking Creek. Um, the three children involved were from the range of like I think three year old 
to a um, seven or eight year old I think was the age range of the children the um, the wife and three children were attempting to escape and um, the nearest nearest thing she could find was the the cellar door and maybe she was trying to attempt to get down in the cellar to escape the flames and they were she was found um burned to death with her three children with her in front of the cellar door unable to escape the flames and that's the stories that i have to share with you guys today i know they're horrible um there there were several other stories similar to these but um due to the years they occurred i decided not to share those because i don't want family members to that are living to to remember the horrific tragedies that happened to to their relatives but um these stories that i'm sharing with you are old enough that i don't think that it will um it would it will bother any family members to hear them at this point. So that's the story that I have for you guys today. And as always, if you like the content of my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you hit the little bell button, you'll be notified anytime I upload any new videos. And as always, a person is never forgotten until the last time their name is spoken. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.